Hey there, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Emily and I do mostly Salesforce tutorials on my channel, but I do some other related software tutorials occasionally. Um, today we're going to be going over how to create a scatter plot component within a Salesforce dashboard. Now that is a lot of words. Um, First things first, we want to make sure that we have access to dashboards. Um, up here, you should be able to see it in the top ribbon. Um, if you do not, then go to the three by three and go and search dashboards um, and click on it. It'll take you to the exact same place. From here, you can either create a dashboard um, with new dashboard or click on a previously created dashboard, whichever dashboard you need to create the component in. Um, if you clicked on a previously created dashboard, go ahead and click edit. Um, if you went with a new dashboard, then it'll take you through the process of naming it, description, and placing it within a folder. From here, um, let's click new component. Um, so I it'll show me a bunch of reports that I have created. Um, one thing about the scatter plot component is that you do need to have a grouping either by row or by column on your source report or else you will not have the option to create a scatter plot. Um, I do have tutorials for all of these different reports that I have created. Uh, they'll be in the playlist down below. Uh, they should be the first link down in the description. I'm going to click matrix report because I know it'll work with this type of um, component. Click select and it'll take us to the properties of the component. I'm going to go to scatter plot. And as you can see, it changed the visualization to be a scatter plot. We can change the X axis possibly and the Y axis possibly. Um, and the details. There we go. We can change the display units to be possibly in the hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, um, or full number, um, just depending on what you are dealing with. So if you're dealing with um, like a number, like a currency amount, then it would be useful to possibly in the, be in the thousands or the millions. Um, I'm just gonna keep it at short number because if it was in the millions, then you wouldn't be able to see my visualization. We can add color by nothing and it'll be all one color, <laughs> or we could have it be colored by, um, and also what it is colored by. Um, we can change the ranges of the axes. So if you wanted it to be uh, more towards a goal rather than the upper bound of what you have, then you can do that as well. Um, we can choose decimal places. This is helpful if you do have a decimal and you need to be able to see an extended decimal for as much accuracy as possible, but we do not need to see that on this particular um, group of data. We can choose a sort by, and then we can choose a secondary sort. We can add a custom link, show maximum groups displayed, create a title. I'm going to change this title to be um, more descriptive of what I'm trying to do with this dashboard component. So it's going to be the scatter plot. Um, you can also add a subtitle and a footer. I find that it is incredibly useful to create a title, subtitle, and footer that is indicative to what you are trying to convey with your component. This is especially helpful if you are not the um, intended end user for this type of component because um, sometimes you don't always have access to ask questions about different assumptions that were made or the different things of the component. Um, we can choose the legend position, either right or bottom. It depends on the component. Some components are better with it on the right, some on the bottom. So just play around with it as well as any of these different um, properties of this component, it's helpful to play around with them to see how it's best visualized. Um, you can choose the theme, light or dark. I'm going to go with dark and click add. Now you don't see it anymore. Just go ahead and scroll down if you can't see it and you should be able to see it. I moved it up. We can change the sizing of our dashboard component. Um, and it'll be responsive and you can see it. You can create it that way. You can make it super long. You can make it go sideways. Um, you can also move it around on the um, canvas. 
I'm going to make this go back to its regular size and click save and done. Um, from here, we are able to refresh the dashboard. Um, unlike reports that refresh automatically when you click on the specific report, um, dashboards do not refresh. So you will need to hit the refresh and all the components will show that they're loading and it'll be pretty quick. Um, oftentimes you'll possibly want to do this multiple times a day because um, data changes throughout the day, especially on work days. You can click edit and it'll take you back to the editor. You can subscribe to get it in your inbox weekly. You can download, save it, new dashboard, or delete it. You may have more or less options depending on how your org is configured. Um, like you might not be able to delete it or create a new dashboard if you don't have those permissions. Um, from here, we should be able to go to the source report. I find it helpful after um, seeing all these different points to be able to go in and view the raw data and the raw data points. Um, so then I can get a better idea of where we're at within our business. Um, if I go back, it'll take me back to view the dashboard. And that is how you create a scatter plot dashboard component. Um, this is a part of a bigger dashboarding and reporting series um, that I'm doing on my channel of probably 50 videos and that it's that playlist will be the first link down in the description box. Um, like if you found this helpful, subscribe if you're feeling generous today, and I will catch you guys in the next one.